Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we're going to be looking at optimization problems using calculus. So optimization problems is when you're trying to find the maximum point or minimum point of word problems. So I recommend these following five steps uh, in order to deal with optimization problems. Step one, draw a, prob uh, draw a diagram. By having a diagram, you understand the question so much better uh, and you can visualize and it helps you understand and uh, solve the problem better. Step two, you have to come up with an equation. Step three, once you've got this equation, you have to find the derivative of it and then make it equal to zero and then solve for whatever the unknown is. So the first derivative gives you the maximum or minimum and that's what you're doing by finding the derivative. Step four, test to see if it's a maximum or minimum. So there's three different ways that you can do it. One, you can do a sign diagram. So you're testing the derivative before and after to see if it goes from positive to negative, which would be a maximum, or negative to positive, which would be a minimum. Or you could do a second derivative test, or you could graph uh, the function uh, to see if it's a max or min. And then when you're done, write your answer in a complete sentence. So let's look at one example. So I've got a circular piece of tin plate of radius 10 centimeters has three segments removed as illustrated, and the angle is measured in radians. Show that the remaining area is given by, well, we're gonna skip this question. I'm assuming that the answer is correct, that area is equal to 50 times theta plus three sine theta. So part B, hence find theta that's a maximum. So we're trying to find a maximum point of this area. So step one is to draw a diagram. Well, we don't really have to do that because it's been done for us. That was nice. Step two, come up with an equation. Well, once again, uh, that was part A, and I'll let you figure that out on your own, but there's the equation. Step three, find the first derivative. So for this question, and I'll just do it on the side, area is equal to 50 theta plus 150 sine theta. And therefore, the find the first derivative. So let's call it A prime is equal to this is 50 theta, so the derivative of 50 theta is 50. It's kind of like 50x, the derivative of 50x is 50. And the derivative of 150 sine x is 150 cosine, not x, but theta. Okay, now we're going to have to make the derivative equal to 0 and then solve for theta. So we got 50... Hmm. Sorry about that. This is 50 plus 150 cosine theta. And let's find for theta. So bring it over. Negative 50 um, divided by 150 is equal to cosine theta. And if we get out our calculator and do second function cosine of negative one third, just quickly do that. Um, you get the answer of... 1.91 so theta is equal to 1.91 remember this is in radians so make sure your calculator is in radians so 1.91 now we're going to test is this a, actually a maximum or is this a minimum so to test if it's a maximum point what, what i'm going to do is i'm going to well I'll go, I'll go with the sine diagram test so i'm going to test a point before this so 1.91 is when it's equal to zero, the derivative. So it could be a minimum, the derivative is equal to zero, or it could be a maximum, the derivative is equal to zero. So I'm gonna test before 1.91, let's, I don't know, how about one? If I go into this formula and put theta is equal to one, I get, hundred and thirty one, so I get a positive number. And now if I put in, oh, let's put a number bigger than theta, let's put in two. Oh, it becomes negative 12.4, it becomes a negative number. So we can see it's going from positive slope to negative slope, and therefore this is a maximum. And then the last part of the question is just answering it uh, properly. So it says find the theta that the area is a maximum, and then find the maximum area. So for B, theta is equal to 1.19 radians and the area is the area is 
Well, I have to put 1.91 into here and here, and then solve for the area. Um, I believe it is, I don't know what it is, but you could figure it out. So I'll just put a, <coughs> a blank for you to work out. Hope this helps. Have a good day.